Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, feel free to check your other placements. Let's see what's going on with you and the person you're currently thinking about first, and then we'll look at your overall love life. Okay. Hmm. So I see like possibly a situation being brought back to life for some reason, but let's see what's going on with Aquarius and the person they have in mind. Okay. Hmm. Someone is jealous over you. This could be an ex-spouse or just an ex, but they're jealous over you. I don't know if you're dating someone new. But they have some jealousy thing going on possessiveness yes yeah, some of you may have a choice in love you may have another option and your ex or whoever this is is jealous could be a gemini for some of you yeah there's been a breakup between you and someone they don't want you to move on or be with anyone else they're still carrying this relationship on their back ten of swords in reverse again so that was no mistake. Ten of cups in reverse, ten of pentacles in reverse. This is the ending of a marriage or a relationship where this person's holding on to you and still jealous over you. They may come out of the woodwork with this hermit in reverse, but they're not really stable at the moment. They might be in their feelings, stubborn, um, just not happy. So yeah. Gemini, Taurus, energy. Let's look at your main spread. See what comes up. Okay, what's going on with Aquarius when it comes to love? What does Aquarius need to know when it comes to their love life? You may have a triangle going on. There's someone you're you're having a hard time moving on from. Some of you, or, or this could be them again having a hard time moving on from you. Devil. So Capricorn energy, you got Capricorn, Leo, um, Aquarius. So, wow, and again with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Oh my gosh. So this person, this could be vice versa because I'm seeing over here that they cut you off, dropped you, they see you as a narcissist, but it, it could be vice versa. This is usually your person side, but this could be your side right now because it does look like you may have cut this person off, let them go because I saw that they were jealous over you and not wanting to let you go. And here I see someone with strong feelings and, and having a hard time moving on and seeing this as a third person party situation or a triangle so again could be them jealous over you and not wanting to move on um they are obsessed addicted attached stuck did i call this the ten of, i call this the ten of um swords didn't i it's the eight of swords i swear i saw the ten of swords in front of me so yeah, we got the Eight of Swords anyway. This is what's blocking. So yeah, this person is very mentally conflicted. They feel stuck on you. Devil energy, Six of Swords in reverse. Mm -mm. They're not letting go. They're not letting go. Clarify the Four of Pentacles in reverse, please. I keep seeing that King of Pentacles. In reverse, which tells me of instability. Yeah, I, the eight of wands in reverse twice. This is someone you've cut off communication with. Okay, it could be even going through divorce if it was a marriage. Clarify the eight of wands in reverse. Did I say eight of pentacles? I'm sorry. Aquarius, you're an air sign, and I don't do well with air signs. Um, 
as I read in my speech and mind does not work with air signs. So um, I'm seeing there's a, there's a cancer, it could be a cancer. Cancers tend to hold on to, could have cancer in their chart. But I see you're trying to move on. Like this, all of this, I really feel like it's vice versa. So I'm seeing somebody done with the situation, cut enough communication. Um, why the King of Swords in reverse? Why the King of Swords in reverse? Yeah, this is like this is like cutting off cutting off a narcissist, or you know, yeah, <laughs> cutting someone off completely, and them just losing their mind because they don't want to let go. Wow. What are the messages for Aquarius? Real love. Butterflies, heartfelt connection, relationship goals, power couple, marriage, stability, wishes granted, romance, no question, no doubt. So you could have met someone new who is like the full package. We've got soulmates, shy. Could have met your soulmate. Hold on, put these cards over. Messages for Aquarius. <sighs> Say ain't so. Like this is this is all these cards that fall out in this reading right now are falling out for a reason. First, we have don't act, don't step out of character. Try new pushing buttons. Be the bigger person. Zero to one hundred real quick. And we have obsession. Someone constantly thinks about you. Comparisons, stalking, keeps photos and screenshots. Partner X. Could be a partner X. Um, family member, friend, foe, or comic. For, for a lot of you, this doesn't even have to be someone you were in a relationship with. It could be that you broke up with them, but it could also just be a random stalker. I get stalker energy because I'm seeing that you've cut off communication, you've cut everything, you don't want nothing to do with this person, and they are this devil attached to you like a parasite. We have Destiny's Child, say my name. Suspicion, if you were in a relationship with this person, they may have always been suspicious thinking you were cheating you probably got fed up of that what do we have for aquarius this is meant to be because i wasn't going to do aquarius i was just going to be lazy and <laughs> i was going to be lazy and do it tomorrow but i decided to do it every time i do that the reading always turns out to be like a meant to be type of reading toxic relationship proposal Maybe the new person has proposed to you. We got text message. We got roll the dice. You're definitely leaving someone bad for someone good. Verify the three of cups, please. They're going to keep texting you. That's what text message is here for. Three of cups again. They just, they think that you belong to them and that they're in a third party situation, that you're cheating on them. Can you imagine? Three of cups, twice, that's how they see you. So they feel like they're in a love triangle. They feel like they need to eliminate your, <laughs> your person. <laughs> Clarify the, why am I shuffling backwards? <laughs> Well, demons walk backwards. Anyways, why the why the six of swords in reverse? Virgo energy. Yeah, they're coming up. They're coming out of the woodworks. This could be an on and off stalker, or they have their moments where they stalk and then stalk and stalk and stalk. Clarify this Eight of Swords, please. Stuck on the past. These messages are so clear. Ten of Swords in reverse. It's definitely the Ten of Swords in reverse. Now I'm seeing properly. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Six of Cups in reverse. This is about being stuck on the past. This person can't get over the relationship with you straight up. 
There's no way to work it out, yet they cannot get over it. Straight up. Oh my gosh. Can some love messages for Aquarius, please. I'm waiting for the control card. We got soulmates again. Great connection, relationship. So yeah, you got a soulmate. Destiny, luck, chance meant to be. Union, serious relationship, marriage, partnership. This person can't stand to see you getting married or moving on, especially with proposal. You may have done a public proposal and they see it and they're angry or it's gonna happen soon. Passion, chemistry, passionate feelings. I feel like you are head over heels with the new person. Or you will be if you haven't met them yet. And it's just, I'm seeing, I just saw 1111 on the timer. It's different from the video time. It's going to be edited, so it's not going to be 1111 when you see it. But that just confirmed. We have teamwork and we have blooming. So again, if you look at this, I'm being drawn to the wedding ring <laughs> on this person's hand. So your soulmate again, what in the Okay. You've met someone or you're if you're single, you're about to meet the soulmate, no doubt. Just be prepared for this ex to lose their mind. We have lesson learned. So maybe you rushed into a relationship with this past person and you learned your lesson. And you may take it slow with a new person. What's the advice for Aquarius? Believe in the divine and raise your vibration. Yep. You are elevating and you're leaving behind this lower energy person. If you look at toxic relationship and obsession com combined with the devil. You're leaving behind this lower energy person, this lower vibing person. Let me just clarify this. Wheel of Fortune, before I get your last advice card. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse for Aquarius? There's the Jealousy again. King of Pentacles. Eight of Cups in reverse. This is them being jealous and not wanting to let you go. You dropping them. It's just an unfortunate situation that they keep stalking. But I feel like this... King of Pentacles is your new person, male or female. This person may protect you from this person, this weird, crate, this stalker. Your new person may be very protective of you. So it's like you have nothing to worry about, but the stalker is just annoying. So one more advice card for Aquarius, please. It will happen in the best way. So maybe this person gets arrested or or just gets off your case in the best way without anyone being harmed or, you know, we have slowed down. So again, you may have rushed into a relationship with that past person, not knowing what they would turn out to be. And now you've learned, but you definitely have some something serious going on with someone who's in your life now or is coming into your life. So don't let this weird obsessed person ruin your vibe. It says raise your vibration. So you're protected by your new love. You're protected by them. So they could be a Virgo, a Taurus. There's Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Cancer again, Capricorn, Leo, Leo again, and Aquarius. So I hope this was helpful, Aquarius. Feel free to check your other placements. If you want to know what else is going on, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.